Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. exciting episode and to build the menu guess what I've actually got cockle jubo cockle jubo is actually made out of fermented corn and I actually made it like some little granules it's just amazing so here you have 150 grams of the fermented corn dough um, this will be ideal for two people that are relatively hungry but if you're very hungry I'm sure this might be uh, for one person but you know it's your preference anyway <laughs> so traditionally we do use a wooden sieve but I don't have any so I'm actually replacing it with this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this in here so I'm just gonna pass the um, dough through the sieve and um, try and achieve the elusive um, little granules now here we have the granules now to actually help the granules to form into this perfect beautiful tiny balls um, I'm just turning it around and that just encourages it to form into that shape so, now I'm just gonna put about 600 milliliters of hot boiling water into a saucepan so I'm going to leave the water to boil and then I'm going to tend to my peanuts for my porridge. Now I have got about 300 grams of jumbo peanuts. This is so easy, just put on the baking tray, 160 degrees in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes and you have your roasted peanuts, that easy. So now with the nuts roasting beautifully in the oven, I'm actually going to tend to making my porridge now. Using your fingers and very lightly, just drop the granules at a little height um, into the hot boiling water. Don't be tempted to stir it because you actually want those granules to form into those perfect pearly balls. You want that. It's important. So that's the whole point of cockle jukbo. <laughs> Repeat the process till you've actually used all your granules and leave the porridge to boil for about two minutes before you stir. Now you'll notice that my porridge is quite thicker than normal. I prefer this way uh, because I will add milk to mine, but that's optional. Um, you can add uh, about another 200 milliliters to 300 milliliters of water if you actually want a lighter consistency. That's not a problem. That's what a recipe is about. It's about adding your own little twist to it. So now I'm ready to serve my dish. To a bowl, add um, a tablespoonful of sugar. I prefer the unrefined sugar. You can use whatever sweetener you prefer. Um, add about 100 milliliters of milk and then just add your porridge. Now alternatively, you can actually add the sugar to the porridge whilst, it's on, uh, whilst you're boiling it. Um, but I prefer to do it this way, but it still doesn't change the fact that you can do it that way either. And um, yes, just add my little touches as usual, the indudu touch. So I've taken the peanut out of the oven and I've left it to completely cool down. So it's easy to touch and I am going to unpeel it now. You can yet again um, buy your roasted peanuts from your supermarket or your local grocers, not a problem, but it is easy to make. You can use your normal peanuts that you get, the jumbo ones, the pink ones, the red ones, and just put it in the oven and just bake it 160 degrees for about, what, 10 to 12 minutes and you've got your roasted peanuts with no additives. So add your peanuts to the porridge and it's ready to serve. Again, and welcome to Dubai Fafa. And yes, ooh, 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 that's my breakfast. Here you have a portion of the porridge served in my traditional calabash. Thank you very much for joining me on another exciting episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Breakfast is served, yes, it worked. 
Don't forget to subscribe um, to my blog, which is indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm on Instagram as indudubaifafa, on Facebook as well as indudubaifafa. Don't miss out. I'm just ready to tuck in now. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget to share your pictures when you actually try the recipes so that I can actually repost them on Instagram. Thank you. Cheers. Mmm.